Yo, yo, this is your boy Andy Frith, and we're picking up Outchair TV. Oh, Once again, hood luck. I mean, I don't even know why I said that. Good luck. Okay? <laughs> Peace. It's been real RB. I got a plan. There we do, yeah? We check it. We give him some bullshit story about the weed. Like, the brother got stuck in traffic and he's gonna drop the things off tomorrow morning or something. Yeah? I'll keep him occupied while you search the yard for the lottery ticket. So what? What are we gonna tell him? Yo, it's your boy Juju C, aka Mr. Instagram, and we welcome you to Outro TV Series 2. And today I'm joined by actor, director, and writer, Andy Firth. How are you doing, man? You're all right. Good, man. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank, no, thanks for having me, man. That's lovely. That's good. We really appreciate this, you know? This is really That's good. Nice. We get appreciation. <laughs> While we're doing this show, obviously, we just ask uh, obviously yeah. the, the person with the panel some few questions. Yeah. We won't get too personal. You can if you Don't want. Oh. No. First, I like this. It, I mean, it, it, it happens. Real. Yeah. Anything you want to say, you know, you can say it. Yeah, no, no, anything, you wanna, anything you want to say, man, yeah. you know, just let me have it. Man. That's I'm, good. That's I good. do all of it the best I can. Yeah, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then, um, obviously, I'll do my quick question round. I'll do a good quick quick question round. Yeah. Whatever comes yeah. to the top of your head, you say it. Yeah. yeah. And then, um, I'll throw a little riddles in there, get your brain working. I know it's kind of late, but, you know. <laughs> I've been writing, I've been writing, I've been writing all day. So, oh, yeah, I don't good, know if my brain's good. working. Maybe, maybe it is working too good. You know that. Yeah. But the first question I'd like to ask you. How did it all start? How did what one day you just thought, let me just start writing or directing or acting? Which one? Yeah, it's just you know what, it's crazy, man. I think you know sometimes I don't know if anyone's felt this, but yeah, you know, you uh, it's like I've come here to do this. It feels like I'm meant to be acting, yeah. well, especially writing and directing movies. Um, I grew up watching movies. Yeah, movies were like my mum and dad, because you know my parents are relatively old-ish. Yeah. They're almost like grandparents to me. So, I, you know, I, I grew up and my brother, older brother Chris, used to get a lot of pirates. Actually, my brother Chris and my next door neighbour Ricky, yeah. and they're like four or five years older than me, and they used to get all the latest films as a kid. I was, I must have been about eight years old. Yeah. So I was watching things like, I don't know how old you guys are, but I was watching things like Die Hard. Yeah, I used to uh, see, yeah. yeah, no, I, I watched it on Pirate, bro. I mean, yeah. Robocop, things like yeah. that. When I was a kid, so yeah, I grew up watching films and then, you know, it kind of, films taught me a lot. Yeah. Films taught me a lot of, about life and I don't know, I used to kind of use stuff on movies. Yeah. And I'd go to school, <laughs> chat up girls and do all kinds of things and people would think, where's he getting all this stuff from, all yeah, this dialogue? Yeah. So, you know, I really was um, almost desensitized to films. It's like films were like, you know, I wasn't doing anything, you know, deplorable or anything yeah. bad, but, you know, films helped me you know, kind of um, helped me with life. Grew so up, just, yeah, 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 it grew, it grew me <laughs> yeah. up. Yeah, it grew me up in one sense. And, and then I, I got into football yeah. pretty much after that. Okay. And and I, I, I didn't do anything with... I, to be fair, I did direct a play when, when I was... Yeah. It sounds crazy. I, I directed this play called Jack the Ripper. Okay. Um, well, it was, well, Jack the Ripper, Ripper but yeah, it, was, yeah. it, was, it was my own Jack the Ripper. Yeah. And um, I don't know why I came up with Jack the Ripper, but I just did that, you know, it was an end of school term sort of thing. Yeah. And um, I don't know, it was like about, I don't know, it must have been about bloody, um, it must have been about 10 minutes long. It was just, it was awful, really. <laughs> but I, I, I was 10 years old, yeah. and that's how my brain was. Yeah. So, you know, when the teacher went, you know, are you sure? You wanted, this is good, though. You're young. Like, yeah. how, how are you coming up with this? And yeah. all my mates was in it, and um, I played Jack. Yeah, yeah. Obviously. Done, done, do done quite a good job. Yeah. All right. And um, yeah, we've done that. And I was about nine, ten years old. Oh. I've done this in primary school. Wow. Never done anything after that apart from play football and watch yeah. movies till later on. Okay. It came back to haunt me. You took it seriously from, from then? Well, um, I started doing, I got into, I've always loved acting 
Um, but at the time, I was playing a decent level of football. Yeah. Started off at Palace. Okay. And then, um, you know, I got into, you know, the, the, you know, the girls, women mucking about. Yeah, and yeah. my career kind of nosedived. Okay. And then I got back into it later on, the football. And then yeah. I started, I joined a sports agency. Okay. I, I, it's crazy. It's a crazy, you know, I could be all day talking about this yeah. because I find it kind of weird. It's like I've done a U-turn. Not U-turn, I've gone full circle. Yeah. If that makes any sense. Um, ended up um, doing, com- com- joined a sports agency. Yeah. And I started getting an abundance of work. Yeah. Crazy, like acting work. So, you know, I was doing all these different commercials. Loved it. Loved yeah. doing stuff in front of the camera. I thought this is me. I love yeah. this. I love this. I thought I could do this for my whole life, but obviously that was the football stuff. Yeah. So it was. It was sort of like football acting. Yeah. Just saying, you know, just, just in front of the camera doing skills. Done a bit of freestyle stuff. Done loads of commercials. Mm. But then it got to a. It got to a stage yeah. where um, I kind of thought, where am I going with all this? And um, I was in my twenties. Well, yeah, in my twenties, early twenties. And um, I thought, you know what I'm going to do? Uh, you know, my agent said, you know, you're really good at this. What, you know, what are you going to do? You know, you should go to drama school. Yeah. So I went away. It was, um, I was doing an advert in Spain. Yeah. Massive, massive um, Adidas commercial in Spain with loads of footballers. Yeah. And that's, what, that's when it dawned on me. I said, when I get back from here, I'm going to go to drama school. Mm. And I went to drama school for a while, different. I mean, not fully, not the three-year yeah. course, but I'd, I'd done bits and pieces. Had a few good agents. Uh, what what, what, what yeah. school was that? Did you go to? Um, I went to the Harris Agency. Harris Agency. The Harris Agency Drama School, um, run by a woman called Sharon Harris, and yeah. um, that was up in Harrow, um, Harrow on the Hill, yeah. quite far from where I live. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. Great. Yeah, we had a, met some good people there. Yeah. Um, had some good times. Um, and you know, I started to understand. She went to the first thing she said to me, yeah. right? When I got in there, she went to me, you know, this is not football, Andrew. Yeah. You know, <laughs> if you think it's going to be easy, you being an actor, you know, I said, no, 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 of course it's, of course it is, man. I said, yeah. just, oh, oh, don't worry, I'll handle it. Goes, no, no, you have to get into, get into character. It's not going to be so easy. It, this is nothing compared to football, darling. I warn you from now. Yeah. And then, and then she was right. I had my work cut out, bro. I said, "Oh my god!" Oh. Like you know, getting into characters, working on different pieces. You can't, you cannot fluke it. Yeah. I mean, you can. What I mean is, if you want to be a thespian, theatre actor, yeah. you can't fluke acting. You get, you get found out. Yeah. So, um, what movies have you like written and directed? And yeah. Like, acted in sort of. Well, there's quite a few at the moment. I mean, yeah. so far, I mean, um, I've, I've made a film called Who Can I Trust? Yeah. That's the same one I was just telling you about. And after that, I wrote a film called D- Dirty Money. Yeah. Dirty Money is a story that I really, I wish I had a big budget because okay. I could make that into a fucking, sp- am I allowed to swear on this? Is it great? It'll be a bit out. I won't, I won't <laughs> swear. I won't swear. I mean, it's all I mean. Yeah, yeah, that's up to you. But yeah, yeah Dirty Money, if I had yeah. a great budget on that film, man, it would have been excellent. But, you know, I attempted it on a very low budget. My low budget was almost, it was basically zero. And the story that I wanted to portray was, you know, um, fifty. Uh, the, the note going through mm. different people that have different problems oh. in, the urban, in the urban community. Do you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah, I it's saying, like yeah. drugs, someone that's on drugs, yeah. someone that's a prostitute, yeah. someone, you know, and they're, they're kind of, you know, them almost telling their story. Yeah. I didn't get it perfect, but I tried a little thing and it done well. It done well. It done well. I was in it. Done, you know, I had my little role in it and um, the £50 note just passed through the, all these different people yeah. and it showed their story. That was something that people liked. Yeah. As I said, shot it on nothing. Um, shout out to my man Fab Santino. Uh, is it is it Santino Santini? <laughs> it's terrible. <laughs> sorry, Fab. Sorry. <laughs> he, he, he's on Hollyoaks, by the way. He's, yeah. He plays Ziggy on Hollyoaks. He okay. was he was in Dirty Money as well. You okay. know, me and him kind of sat down and we you know worked a few things out because me and him used to always train together and okay. do a bit of acting together. So he was in the movie, and this movie was made a few years ago. So the oh. movie's online. Dirty Money, if you type in Dirty Money Andy Frith, it will come up. 
Yeah. That was the first one. The second one was Dirty Money Part Two. Yeah, I just tried a different one. Um, it's really weird because a lot of people have watched Dirty Money Part Two but yeah. haven't seen Dirty Money. Yeah. So some of the comments, which I'm upset about, people yeah. say, "No, I don't understand this movie." Because it, it follows on, obviously, from, from Dirty first, Money. Yeah, Dirty yeah. Money, and, you know, these you know, people ain't getting it, but <laughs> it completely follows on. And um, one of the guys in Dirty Money, I've got to give a shout out to, because he, he, he died earlier mm. on this year, and um, Paul Gorman, um, okay. good actor. Um, he's the guy that sold the child, the gun. If you ever see the film, um, yeah, he yeah lost his life. So R.I.P. Paul Gorman. Um, yeah, it was a nice cast. It was very mixed characters. But yeah. Dirty Money 1, Dirty Money 2. And then after that, I shot a short film called A Dog's Life. Oh, okay. And that was supposed to be for the Virgin Media. Yeah. <laughs> That's how it started. It was supposed to be oh. for the Virgin. It was two and, a half, two and a half minutes long. Yeah. And that's online. Clever little story. And um, yeah, that could have been elaborated. People wanted me to make a feature out of that. Yeah. And after that, I, I directed, wrote and directed a film called Hood Luck. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Hood Luck, yeah, about Liquid the, um, thank you very much, stolen Liquid lottery Liquid. ticket. That's my last one that I've made. Um, it, and you know, that done really well for yeah, me. Yeah, yeah that, done, that was really well. That day. Yeah, and that people liked one. it. And, you know, shout out to my man Richard Blackwood. Yeah. Richard, um, Richard's in that movie as well, yeah. a little cameo role, you know. And um, you know, a few different people here yeah. and there. And um and yeah, yeah, that's that's the I've only so I've only made well, there's one more, I'm missing one, I'm missing yeah. one, I'm missing one, I'm missing one. Yeah, sorry, who can I trust? Dirty money one, dirty money two, a dog's life, yeah, and hood luck. Okay. Two shorts and three features. Yeah. Oh. So what's the most famous actor or person you've worked with? Oh, um, most famous person I've worked with. Yeah. In any facility. Yeah, any acting. <sighs> famous actor. Is that including footballers? Yeah, it can include footballers, yeah. Well, I mean, you could say Beck, yeah, David Beckham yeah. was the most famous, obviously, for obvious reasons. Yeah. You know, he's not a famous actor, he's a famous yeah. footballer. Yeah. He was an icon. So I, I was in a commercial with him. Yeah. Um, cause I'm still an actor yeah. by trade, and that was um, about a year ago. Yeah, about a year and a half ago, I was in that. So, right around the World Cup. Who is the hardest person to work with? The hardest person. It could be any actor that you work for. So I mean, in some ways, a f you know, there's been a few difficult things that's happened, but it's to be expected because yeah. a lot of these guys I haven't paid. You know, I didn't give him any money. money. More oh, okay. like, you know what I mean? It was just, just yeah, that. man, you're going to be in a film, film and, 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 and before you know it. Do you know who the hardest person actually was? Then. I think Rex. Rex was the hardest person. Yeah, <laughs> shout out Rex. Oh, my God. It was a nightmare. <laughs> right. He oh, was okay. like, now nah, he was um, forever, you know, smoking. I'm not going to yeah. say, I'm not going to tell anyone what he was smoking, <laughs> but he was smoking and he was pretty relaxed most of the time. And we had to wake him up half, you know, half <laughs> of the time and then... He, and he was getting a few lines wrong, but yeah. now he's great. He, I went drama school with Rex. Oh, okay. He's fantastic. But, you know, a couple of times he got a little bit messy. Yeah. <laughs> where, where, where Jet Mark, but the cameraman that was going, he said, what's yeah. wrong with your mate? I don't understand. Oh, God. And Rex said, I'm all right, I'm all right. Yeah. He's buzzing out of his head. Oh, and it's God. funny because he's in Hood Luck. He's my yeah. cold D in Hood Luck. And when he saw the movie, he loved it. And he said, I wish, I wish, I wish I'd done things differently. I said, I yeah. told you what was going to happen. I told you yeah. it's serious. It's not a joke. So, you know what I mean? He, he He's probably one of the hardest, but in some ways, as I said, it, it's all off the cuff. Yeah. You know, it's, it's planned, Yeah, but, but you've got to expect it. people not to be perfect. I yeah, haven't got so a million pound budget. If I did, yeah. then, you know, then I could say, right, that person was probably... Yeah. There's no big egos. Yeah. Everyone just comes, does their job, and, you know, it's very relaxed. Yeah, that's good. We try to enjoy ourselves, so yeah. there's harmony on set. Shit, yeah. And, um, and, yeah, it's... Um, yeah, yeah, I think he was the most... Um, Irritating, man. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say to you, how long does it take you to write a movie? What, what's the quickest time that you've actually... That's a, that's a catch-22, that mm. is, because it all depends on what I'm writing. Yeah. Now, at the moment, when I'm writing a film, I do write it to a budget, if that makes any sense. Yeah. So I've got two different writing kind of, um, you know, not manuals, but kind of writing sides. Yeah. 
so if I'm shooting a film and I know it's going to be a relatively short, small budget, yeah, you know, it might take me quicker because obviously, you know, it's not going to be no, you know, crazy car chases, people getting shot. Well, if they're getting shot, there's not going to be much blood because it's, you know, it's just yeah, going to be yeah. cutaways and you know, cleverly shot. shot yeah. So um, yeah, it could take me. Um, it all depends on the idea, what I'm writing. Mm, a few months, a few mm. months maybe, maybe even quicker. Now. At the moment, I'm writing features. I've got a few features sitting down, okay. which are really, really good, and I can't wait to make. Yeah, yeah, and and they, I need a budget on those films, yeah. so I'm writing in two different ways. So those ones obviously will take longer because mm. you know because I'm I'm sitting there and I'm really carefully mm. planning Plan out, you know, yeah. how I'm gonna, you know. But as I said, I mean, I, I love I love it because I, I love the ideas yeah, and I like sure. the you know the clever things that. You know, even when I talk to people, they give me ideas. They give you ideas of movies. And Brilliant! Stuff. It's lovely, and it helps me to, um, you know, formulate a very clever idea.